Hi, I'm Beth Gaddis, the Vice President of Marketing at Patient Prism, and I'm delighted to welcome Christine Taxon oh, to us thank today. You. I have known Christine for more than a year and a half, and she's one of my favorite people in dentistry. And her specialty is medical dental cross code billing, which is something that I don't think enough dental practices are taking advantage of, Christine. No, and they could add so much value to their practices, not just financially, which that does work. Mm -hmm but the amount of patients that would be coming to them versus never having work done. Absolutely, I mean the, the patient benefit of being able to use both the medical insurance as well as the dental insurance for the services they need makes a huge difference to people. Yes. And that's one of the things that we wanted to talk about is the patient psychology of that. You know, I just know as a mom that if I'm able to go and not have to pay as much out of pocket, like that is a huge ben bonus to me. Absolutely. And I'm going to be more agreeable to accepting treatment if it's not going to cost me as much. That's right. And you know, more and more people are hearing about the connection to the oral cavity. Right. And I have like patients emailing me on a daily basis, can you find me a doctor? that will see me. And I, I've actually worked with several in California mm -hmm. and patients are willing to travel and drive and stay over and do the work. So it's been, a, you know, a, a major shift in what patients are looking for. Well, it sounds like there's two different parts to that and correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, one is that we've done a pretty good job of educating people that the mouth is the gateway to the body mm -hmm. and that there's a lot of systemic diseases that have a, a huge connection to the health of their mouth, correct? Correct. And then the second part of it is that you know, there has been more of a hybrid between medical and dental professionals working together. Um, we actually work with some practices that have integrated medicine. They have both dental and medical professionals all under one roof. Mm -hmm. So they're diagnosing the whole person and not uh, having to, to go out or uh, you know, to a dentist practice in one place and to the medical practice in the other. Is that a trend that you are seeing? Yes, I'm seeing that in hospital settings. Really? Yeah, so hospitals are now having and opening up dental uh, practitioners so that every patient that needs surgery is pre-screened well, and if they need work they have an office right in the hospital where they'll take the patient mm -hmm. as if they were going for a CT scan somewhere right. in the hospital to the dental practice and do that treatment before they could have the surgery. And you were talking that you actually worked with a hospital in Detroit, is that correct? Yes. So which one was that? That was at uh, Harvard, I mean, uh, Detroit Medical Center. Okay. They actually implemented that, and I was proud to say I was part of that. And so they have a built-in dental clinic for in-house patients. Right. So that nobody ever has to worry about an oral systemic infection right. interfering with their m m surgery or health. And you mentioned Harvard, so for those of you who don't know, Christine is actually also a professor at Harvard, an adjunct professor at Harvard, and you also teach at, uh, at NYU, New York University, right? yep, NYU. And so you were telling me a little bit earlier that medical students and dental students are actually spending the first couple of years together in their training at Harvard, taking all the same classes. Is that yes, correct? Yes, absolutely. And more and more dental schools are now adding that part on. So the medical students and the dental students mm -hmm. are actually working, collaborating together. So the, so the new dentists that are coming out, they're gonna have gone through these programs and they're gonna be very comfortable with this idea of treating the whole patient and working together. Absolutely. And with cross-code billing. Absolutely. So it's a little bit that we're needing to be training the people that may have been out of school for a while, have been practicing for a couple of years, and their office managers and team about this changing trend. Yes, and the trend is changing even in the dental insurance mm -hmm. billing. Really? So we're becoming closer and closer, so to speak. Okay. And you're seeing that all every day I get more and more new information. Mm -hmm. And one of the other things that I, I hear from teams are, well, the doctors don't want to talk to us, the medical doctors. That's um, an old school thought. Okay, so that's changing. That's because these students are working together. Right. So it's not just dental that's changing, it, the medical community is changing with us. Right. And they are looking to collaborate. 
And I always tell the, uh, the dental practice, think about an OBGYN who delivers babies. Right. They have the highest malpractice. Do you think that they would be against sending their patients to a dental practice right. to make sure that they're healthy? Because if the mother is not healthy, the fetus is not healthy. Right. So when you put it in that content, they are changing. But they need to be taught the way our dental world needs to be taught. And who better than the billers? Absolutely. So we began this conversation talking about the patient psychology and how they want it to be as convenient as possible for them. And they're becoming more open to the idea of having their dentist be able to bill appropriate procedures to their medical insurance. But what you're talking about now is that the team psychology is also changing and that the dental team members need to be, and the dentists need to be comfortable also with this idea of billing to medical. Right, and the whole team needs to make that change together. Right. That's really the key because it is exciting to have this new philosophy of you are a medical practice. Right. You are more of a wellness practice than most other medical fields. So uh, to me, it's exciting. It is more work. Okay. Because there's learning. So you're working every day and adding on new stuff, but eventually it will even out. So you have to give it a little bit of time. Well, like everything else, I mean, if you want to advance your career, if you want to help your dental practice become known as the best in the community, you know, this is one way that you can do that. And by investing the time in your people and giving them the time to get the training that they need, then they're going to be able to provide a better Absolute. patient experience. Absolutely. Uh, you know, everybody has to be on board. So it's a, it's a real team change. So as people are learning about this and seeing the changing uh, trends and they want to learn more information about whether this is going to be a right fit for their practice, what website can they go to visit? Well, they could come to dentalmedicalbilling.com mm -hmm. or they could email me at ctaxon at linkstosuccess.biz or look at that website, linkstosuccess.biz. And I'm always happy to answer questions and give them tips on how to look into their uh, coding and make that decision that's right for their office. Well, Christine is really abundant with her knowledge, so definitely reach out to her, you know, check out her website, and see if this is a trend that your dental practice should be part of. Christine, thanks so much for taking the time today. You're welcome.